you guys just missed a fun little throw up party. <laughs> also, if you're wondering, yes, I cut my hair. She's brand new. Like I said before, you guys just missed a very fun and eventful throw up party. Yeah. With your host, a little throw up monster. <laughs> so right now I'm just kind of letting him vibe for a second because I want to give him a bath and I want to wash him, but we just ate so you know, we gotta let the food settle. So he's sitting down in his swing and he's vibing. He's being great. He's chilling. He's being quiet. And while he's doing that, I'm gonna tidy up my kitchen. And I know a lot of you are like, Dominique, your kitchen is literally tidy. It's fine. I know that. I know that. But my mind and my body won't let me just just vibe. Like, it won't let me just let this be. I feel like I need to clean something. So that's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> So as of yesterday, Ian is four weeks old. So he's one month officially. Now that we're in the game, you know, we got some experience on our belt with this third child here and we've seen what he likes and what he doesn't, what works for us now and what doesn't. I am going to share with you the real must haves for a newborn baby. Yeah. Starting with this, <laughs> number one, the ma'am passes, they have been literally lifesavers. Also, the swing. This is the Graco swing. It is um, a detachable swing, so like convertible. So this part right here will come off and detach. It does like this really cool movement situation. Like, do we want to be this way? Maybe, do we want to rock like this? Or do we want to go, do we want to go this way? Do we want to rock sideways like this and get a nice view of the outside and the sun? Maybe. So basically, we can turn him all the way around in any direction. So another thing that I've been using every day is obviously a breast pump. You, any breast pump will do. This is just the Modelo one that was gifted to me with my last pregnancy. Also, a drying rack for your bottles and things and breast pump parts. Definitely have been using this. Also, I have the Hawka Ladybugs. Um, I've been recently using this as I feed the baby. I'll put this on the other side. Okay, so little man was literally over it. He did not want to be sitting in that swing anymore. You just want mama? That's okay. I want you to. He said, I need a diaper change, please. I know, I know. There you go. That's better, right? Yeah? Is that better? We'll have to reconvene with the newborn essentials because I have a real newborn in real life and he doesn't let me do anything. It's all about you and I'm okay with that. I'm gonna try to put this little stud down for a nap and maybe we can get into that newborn essentials or maybe I can get ready for the day. Who knows? We'll see, but we will reconvene in a little bit. starting over I was just going to put him down for a nap and I breastfed him and while he was on my right side of my boob breastfeeding I put the haka on the left side and this is how much letdown I caught with the haka look at that stash that I'm gonna be storing away for a later feed one ounce of letdown that would have just got soaked up in a breast pad or dripped all over me but instead it's a pretty decent amount that I could feed my son for a later date. So also what we use every day is the Komotomo bottles. And we only use these to fill up with breast milk for nighttime feedings because my fiance does help with our nighttime routine and everything like that with the baby. So um, this is obviously so he can help with the feedings. Um, also, I use the Freedom Mom like massager. It's like a heated massager and oh my gosh, this has come in so clutch with um, taking out like all of the milk from my breast when I'm pumping. Also, I use the Freedom Mom No Mess Nipple Balm and the Saline Spray. I use that for crack nipples and um, just basically sore breast. You know, breastfeeding, <laughs> it's it can get pretty rough in there. So I definitely need to utilize those. 
you know, to kind of take care of the girls. Okay, so I also take the Legendary Milk Sunflower Lethicin. Um, this has definitely helped with the um, clogged milk duct that I had previously. So I just take like two of these as like maintenance, you know, and it helps with the flow of my milk. And um, I've also noticed that I haven't had the clogged milk duct again after taking these. So I just keep it in my rotation. And then also I do like the dapple baby bottle soap cleaner um it's not essential but i just find it convenient and i do like it um as far as changing goes um i obviously use my changer all the time and the one that i have is the kikaru changer and then i do like the changing station little caddy thing that i have um basically it's like a little organizer okay so i also have a wipe warmer and a regular like wipe dispenser i use them both i use the wipe warmer at night and the regular wipes during the day kind of like helping my son kind of differentiate from day and night definitely i use my diaper genie every single day i wanted to bring this up because in the beginning i didn't think that i needed it i thought that i could just use those little arm and hammer little disposable um scented you know diaper bags that you take that are like on the go i went out and purchased one specifically for my son because the smell of dirty diapers it really is just I don't know if I'm more sensitive to it now or I don't know, but I definitely needed a diaper genie and I use it every single day and I am so grateful that I did. Um, burp cloths, those are definitely, definitely in my arsenal of what we use every single day. Um, I do have the muslin burp cloths, which are super great and they're super absorbent. However, they're not big enough for me. Like, it's like I... I need something big, I need something massive. So I do mostly use the Aiden and Anais swaddles as burp cloth. Um, bibs are also essential. That's something we've been using every day. And then the snuggle me. Oh my gosh, the snuggle me lounger. We use that every single day. Um, a portable sound machine. This one's a chargeable one that I got off Amazon. We use it every single night. And I do have a baby monitor. The one that I have is the Hello Baby baby monitor. We use this obviously every single day. I do also have the Dapple Baby all-purpose wipes that I use. I use this to wipe down the changer, to wipe down the dresser, anything like that. Um, it's really handy to have it close nearby and it also smells so good. I do have a hand sanitizer by my changing station because obviously I'm changing diapers. Sometimes I can't just run to the sink and wash my hands right away, so having um, hand sanitizer on deck is super key. And finally, my rocking chair. I knew I was gonna need a rocking chair, so I definitely am glad that I purchased one. I use this every single day, multiple times a day. I just fed baby boy and he's super stinky so we're gonna give him a bath and I wanted to kind of show you like our bath time setup for one I do it in the kitchen sink it's just the biggest space that I have as far as like being able to put the bathtub in here and what I do is I put like a swaddle on top of it this one I got from the hospital it's super thick and absorbent so I put that on top and what I'll do is I'll lay him down here and then I'll cover his body so he's not cold with the warm water running. So yeah, I'll put him in that and I will check the temperature of the water with my elbow. I won't go in and test it with my hands just because your hands can be a little bit more resistant to heat and other things um, than other parts of your body. So I test it with my elbow or I'll go in with like a thermometer. And then I like to make sure I have everything laid out and available for me. So when I take him out of the tub, we're just done and everything's right where I need it. So we have the clothes that he's gonna wear. I have a diaper, I have baby powder, and I have his towel. I have a burp cloth. I have a washcloth here. And then also I have um, his baby soap. And I also have the little cradle scalp um, scrubber as well. And a little bucket thing that I use to rinse him off. I also like to give him a bath when he's like calm. 
or like he just ate or he's getting a little sleepy and drowsy anything to like where he's calm because for one he loves bath times um, but it just kind of elevates the mood when he's just like super relaxed so we're gonna get into a little bath time for a little stinky boy here <laughs> wow. yeah Every time I give him a bath, I get like soaking wet too, which is totally fine. But oh my gosh, look how calm he is. <laughs> he loves bath time. So as much as he loves bath time, he hates to get out. It's always, it's always a struggle to get him out. So <laughs> let's see how we do. Okay, come here. We're done, honey. We're done. Come here. Good job. We did good today. Okay, so he did so good with bath time. And he's so calm. He's sleeping, which is perfect because I have to actually go get Nathan and Nadia. So he's going to be sleeping in the car ride over to pick up brother and sister. So with that said, I do need to wrap up today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up for me. And please subscribe if you haven't done so already. And we'll see you in our next one, baby. Oh, Bye guys. To write up a song for just anyone. I, I was always the one to find myself lost in all conversations. Oh.